Hey guys, look at what just arrived. It's the Clarion MW6. This is the NEMA 2000 interface module that should allow me to take my Lowrance uh, MDF, my multifunction display, on my boat and connect it up to that NEMA 2000 network so I can control the audio system. In my case, I've got a Clarion M505 and I should be able to control that through my Lowrance system. So this is actually pretty cool. It just came out. Uh, it's not really widely available yet. Uh, but let's see what's inside here, and then we'll go over to the boat and get it installed. So, uh, just a little cardboard. You've got your one-year warranty. You have a little uh, diagram over here. Um, shows you how to set it up. So, in my case here, I've got the M505, and I just have to adjust a few dip switches. And then on the back side here, pretty straightforward installation. Um, I actually have this Clarion Marine wired remote, uh, so I have a splitter that I'll show you here in a bit, um, and that is the MW6, and there's your multifunction display. So it should be a pretty straightforward installation, and there's the unit itself, pretty small, has the NEMA 2000 side, and then a DIN connector that connects up to the remote, uh, and that is pretty much it. So let's head over to the boat and get this installed. Okay, we're here at the boat. Here's the Clarion MW6. There's the Lowrance HDS7. And then here is the Clarion uh, wired remote. And then down in here, we've got the M505. So the first thing we're gonna need is the Y splitter. That's the MWRYCRET, and it's basically a two females to one male. So the first thing is to find the connector. So I've got this uh, VHF back here that I basically pulled out and I stuck my hand back here and this is the DIN connector that we have to replace with the Y. So I'll do that right now. So now here's the DIN that goes to the remote unit. This is the input that's coming from the back of the unit. And then this connector is where we're going to put the MW6 right in there. So we'll do that next. Next we need a T connector for the NEMA 2000. And we'll plug that into this one. So there's the NEMA backbone right here. And we'll secure that all nicely. So I've got to put the dip switch down because since I've got the M505 And you can see that right in there. Okay, so now we have everything installed here. I just have to put that back in, but I've got the remote unit and then I've got the Lowrance. So if I tap on audio, it looks like I can tap power. It says connecting to the MW6. And it looks like it's powering up. Okay, so how does it work out? It seems to be working out pretty good. If you tap in audio, you can select the different systems and it, down here you'll see it cycles through it says FM and it tells you 89.5 tells you 89.5 um, you have different settings favorites save as favorite you can change different zone information the nice one is you can mute everything, which is really handy. Okay, your volume. Everything seems to work except I'm not getting any metadata, but that's somewhat normal, I believe, from the Bluetooth, because I don't get the metadata on this display either. Uh, the Pandora metadata should be coming up, but I'm not getting it on here. Um, but yeah, this actually is pretty cool. It uh, probably is still being worked on. Um, but yeah, it's kind of nice to be able to have this at your fingertips. The most important one is the mute, especially when you're docking and whatnot. Um, so it's kind of nice that I can just go in here and select the zone or the source, and then it updates all the information. So yeah, pretty cool. I think it's a win. So this is the Clarion MW6 NEMA 2000 interface module. It seems to work pretty darn good. So give it a thumbs up. Thanks, guys.